fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Today's Falcons official schedule release video is brought to you guys by Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com and use the promo code FALCONS to get 20% off your first order plus free shipping. The link will be down below in the description box right now. All right, Falcon fans, it is Wednesday evening upon filming this video. You know what that means? The official Atlanta Falcons 2021 schedule is here and ready to be revealed. And so we're going to go through the entire schedule, and then we're going to dive into kind of a quarter at a time and take a look at some of the big games the Falcons are going to go ahead and be playing during the 2021 NFL season. So let's go ahead and just start with rolling through all of the Falcons' official games that they're going to be playing in order, starting, of course, with the one you probably saw earlier today, and that is the Falcons' home opener as they will play Week 1 against the Philadelphia Eagles 1 p.m. on Fox. Week 2, they go to Tom Brady and the Super Bowl champions to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Week 3, they are at the New York Football Giants at MetLife Stadium. And Week 4, it is their third of four games against the NFC East as they will be back at Mercedes-Benz Stadium against the Washington football team. Keep going here. Week 5 is your London game. Wake up nice and early at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. A 9.30 a.m. kickoff on Fox as they take on the New York Jets. Technically a home game for the Falcons, but it will be on the road. The early bye this year for the Atlanta Falcons, it'll be week six is when their bye week is officially going to go ahead and take place. Week seven at Miami at Hard Rock Stadium. That will be an early afternoon start as well. Week eight on what will be Halloween will be on the road taking on the, sorry, at home taking on the Carolina Panthers on Halloween. Week nine, they'll take on the New Orleans Saints at Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Week 10, finish up the NFC East, taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Week 11, they play the Patriots in their one primetime game, and that is, of course, a third Thursday night football game. We'll see what quarterback maybe Mac Jones by that point in Week 11. Week 12 at the Jacksonville Jaguars. That'll be uh, probably more than likely the first overall pick in the NFL Draft. Trevor Lawrence. Week 13, your second matchup against Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Week 14 at Carolina. Week 15 at San Francisco. A repeat of what they did a couple of years ago when they beat the 49ers on the road. Detroit. Week 16 back at home. Then Buffalo on the road. Week 17, and then finally here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium to finish up the entire year in the ATL. They'll take on the New Orleans Saints in Week. 18 of the 2021 NFL schedule. All right, before we go ahead and break down kind of individually these games, some of the bigger games on the schedule, what is your Falcons record prediction in 2021? How many wins? How many losses? You just saw the schedule. How do you feel? Initial thoughts. Just go down below and give me your record prediction for the Falcons in the comment section. All right, as I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and break down kind of four games at a time here, along with the big game of the four sets. So we're going to start with these first four games. And obviously, you have the Eagles, the home opener. Now, they've done a pretty good job against Philadelphia ever since they lost to the Eagles in the or what was the divisional round of the 2017 NFL playoffs. The Eagles went on to win the Super Bowl there. They will go ahead and get a home matchup against the Birds. And again, they beat them two years ago at home. That's a great opening matchup, in my opinion, as you get Jalen Hurts his first game as a starter, truly, because he did play four games last year, but still first game really as a starter. Bucks in week two, that'll be the one we'll highlight here in just a second. Obviously, that's going to be a big one on the road, a huge early test, so the Bucks will be heavy favorites in that one. At the Giants, and then Washington there in week four. Very curious to see what quarterback will be playing for Washington. Will it be Ryan Fitzpatrick or somebody else? Not a bad first four-game stretch. Very winnable football games against what was the NFC least last year. The top one we want to highlight here is obviously the Bucks game. On the road, early against Tom Brady. Maybe a sneak one by. Brady, historically, a little slower of a start. You don't want to play him later on in the year because he's making a playoff push. But so far, I think the first four games of this, uh, of this early Falcons look at the schedule to me, looks pretty darn good, and it could be a really good chance for the Falcons to get off to a hot start, something they have not been able to do literally at all the past two years under Dan Quinn, so maybe they start fast under uh, Arthur Smith. Like the video if you guys think the Falcons are going to go ahead and make the playoffs. Now, they didn't make it last year, didn't make it the year before. Think the Falcons are going to go ahead and make the playoffs? Like the video, give me a thumbs up down below in the comments section. Okay, before we go ahead and keep going with the uh, breakdown of the 2021 schedule, of course, this video is brought to you guys by Manscaped and their brand new Lawnmower 4.0 just released last week. Their top of the line trimmer, which is absolutely fantastic. Go to manscaped.com, use the promo code FALCONS for 20% off your first order plus free shipping. And of course, you can use that in the promo code on the brand new Lawnmower 4.0, which was dropped again last week. Got a longer battery life, it has a better light indicator in terms of how much battery is left off, wireless charging, and of course, the patented safeguard technology that way there are no nicks or cuts or anything downstairs i the lawnmower 3.0 absolutely fantastic the fact there's a 4.0 means it just got even better again link down below in the description box manscaped.com use that promo code falcons get 20 percent off your first order plus free shipping all right let's keep going here in our schedule breakdown weeks five through eight you get the jets in london which is uh you know, it's going to be fun, I think, for the team to travel to London. Kind of annoying for us to get up super early in the ATL, but still. They need the bye week. I don't like early buys. I'd much rather have them later on in the year because you're a little more banged up, a little more injured. But 
What are you going to do? Week 6 bye overall for the Atlanta Falcons. At Miami there in Week 7, which will be an interesting matchup against Tua. Like, the Dolphins are going to be pretty darn good in Week 7, or the Dolphins are going to be pretty bad, and it should be a pretty rollover game. And similarly with Carolina, in your first home matchup against the Panthers, is Sam Darnold and Matt Rule going to be a force to reckon with, or are they going to be kind of the bottom of the division as they've been the past couple of seasons? The highlighted game here, though, of course, is the Jets game in London, because... It'll be interesting to see Zach Wilson. I think it's a good matchup overall in terms of some excitement. The Jets are a lot more interesting than they've been the past couple of years, but the London aspect of it is always fun. I hate waking up early on a Sunday to watch a Falcons football game. I'd rather watch it later on in the day, but, you know, you only play in London so many times uh, throughout your entire career as a franchise. Some teams don't even get to, so it'll be kind of fun to go ahead and see the Falcons play in London. What do you guys think is the best Falcons game this year? If you can only go to one, right, just pick one Falcon game. Let me know what that is down below right now in the comments section. Tough one for me to pick right now because there are a lot of good Falcons games, and I'm going to try to go to a couple of one of these as well. But let me know what you guys think in terms of the best Falcons game of the year in the comments section. Okay, let's go from week 9 through week 13. A little bit tougher here in this stretch. you got at the Saints, and obviously it'll be very interesting what the Saints are doing, whether it's Jameis or Taysom Hill. You would think Jameis Winston, but obviously no guarantee. At Dallas in week 10 to go ahead and round out the NFC East. Don't really know which NFC East team is going to be good this year, right? They all could be good. They all could be bad like they were last year. So maybe Dallas is great because Dak Prescott, of course, is going to be healthy, or maybe they're not. Who knows? Patriots on Thursday Night Football, kind of a bummer. The only primetime game of the Atlanta Falcons. I guess that's what happens when you lose a lot of games the past couple of years. And it'll be interesting to see if that's Mac Jones. We mentioned it earlier. It could be a Mac Jones-type-led Patriots team. And especially later on in the year, if they start Cam to start the year, they could eventually bench him and then insert Mac Jones so you get to see him there in Week 11. At the Jaguars in Week 12, you're going to see Trevor Lawrence. You're seeing a lot of the young quarterbacks. You already saw Zach Wilson Week 6. You're seeing uh, Mac Jones possibly Week 11, and then Trevor Lawrence there in Week 12, followed by your second matchup with the Bucks this time at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. The one to watch here, though, I think, again, is probably going to be the Patriot one on Thursday Night Football. It's easy to pick divisional games. We'll pick the fun ones here. Thursday night, your one primetime game, even though Thursday Night Football is not Monday Night Football or Sunday Night Football, but, you know, Falcons got to win football games for the NFL to want to put them in prime time, and maybe we'll get to see Kyle Pitts ball out on the New England Patriots. And so we'll see what happens there in that Week 11 matchup. But again, so far, it's not a bad-looking schedule getting towards the latter half of the Falcons' 2021 schedule. Okay, before we go ahead and keep going, make sure you guys subscribe to Atlanta Falcons today as we are trying to be the fastest growing Falcons channel on YouTube with the best content as well. I take pride in that as we try to keep you guys up to date on the latest Falcons news and rumors. And of course, this brand new schedule breakdown. I mean, it literally came out like three minutes ago and we're immediately filming and then we're going to upload so it'll be out as quickly as we possibly can. So appreciate you guys subscribing and going down below and hitting the notification bell as well. All right, let's go and jump into the final five games of the Falcons schedule. You got at Carolina on week 14, at the um, at, sorry, at the 49ers there in week 15, Detroit in week 16, the Bills at uh, on the road against the Bills week 17, and then the Saints in week 18. Again, Panthers, what are you going to have with them this year? Not really sure if they're going to be good or not. All depends on Sam Darnold. 49ers, we expect to be good, but it will be Trey Lance or Jimmy Garoppolo. That's kind of a question to be had, but we'll know for sure by week 15. Detroit should be a nice, easy break in between this final five-game stretch. Like, this is probably the hardest stretch of the Falcons' schedule if these teams turn out to be good. Panthers, 49ers on the road. It's across the country. going to be difficult. Then an easy home game against the Lions, theoretically. And then final two games, brutal. At Buffalo, which is going to be a good football team. That's a double-digit win team. I mean, it's written all over. They're a great team last year. And then the Saints there, at least we get them at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I'll focus on the Bills one here, though, because this could very well be a game that Buffalo might not need because they could already have locked down their division, or Buffalo will really need it. It means the Falcons got to go ahead and win it as well because we know it'll be probably playoff crunch time here as they got to win some football games to go ahead and get into that point. So I would, of course, highlight the Bills game, but know that all five of these games are going to be interesting and probably the toughest stretch at the end of the Falcons' schedule. Now, of course, last year, the division standings, as you see on your screen right now, the Saints and Bucks were both playoff football teams. Panthers and Falcons, not so much. This is going to be changed this year in terms of probably the Bucks is the best team in the division. If you had the bet right now, Saints are going to have a good defense, but is Jameis good enough to lead them to a playoff Birth, eh, yet to be seen. Panthers, big wild card. You don't know. I mean, they had a pretty good offseason, I think. A really good draft. But can Sam Darnold and Matt Rule lead them to the promised land? And then, obviously, our Falcons, 4-12. and 12. Just, just win some football games, please. Like, please go through and win some football games. All right. 
one more time, quick run through. You see the uh, the schedule on your screen right now. Philadelphia at home in the first game, at Tampa Bay week two, at the Giants week three, Washington up there in week four at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, London for the Jets, a home game in week five, by week early, ooh, week six, week seven at Miami, week eight against the Carolina Panthers, week nine at the New Orleans Saints, week 10 at the Dallas Cowboys, week 11, you take on the Patriots on Thursday Night Football, week 12 at the Jacksonville Jaguars, week 13, you take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for the second time, week 14, Carolina for the second time, and then you go ahead and you finish up with the final four games at San Francisco, at, or sorry, home against the Detroit Lions, at Buffalo, and then finally home against the New Orleans Saints. All right, we're going to finish on this. Over under eight wins for the Falcons in 2021. That's the official win total line. Eight wins. Over under. What do you guys think? Over your playoff team? Under. You are not a playoff team. So let me know what you guys think down below right now in the comment section for the over under for the Falcons win total sitting currently at number eight. All right, all hooked up me up for today here on Atlanta Falcons today. I'm Thomas Mott signing off. Stay safe out there and enjoy the rest of your day.